feel over again. All right. And then you come into this sphinx pose, lifting your chest up. Exhale. Let your belly come to the floor. Let your head rest on your hands. Pushing the tops of the feet and shins down. Inhale, push your pubic bone down and just lift your chest up. So just use the arms and use the pelvis to press. And then exhale, let it go. Let's do that one more time. Lifting up. Good. So now lift your arms up off the floor so that you're working with your back muscles. And then draw the elbows in by your sides so the crown of the head is forward, the toes pull back. As you exhale, chin down, hands down, push back to your seat child's pose, all the way back to your heels. And then rise up to hands and knees, round and curl your spine, cat pose. Inhale, dip your belly, arch your back, cow tilt or dog tilt. And let's go some, for some dancing lions, making big circles. Just moving through your body, listening to your body. So this is time to connect to your body and reverse it. Go as big or as small as your body kind of lets you know. And then one more time, make it back to your child's pose. Sit back on your heels and then rise yourself up to sitting on your heels. Bring your arms over your head. So I'm just going to move up a little bit. You can stay right where you are. I'm going to turn to face you actually, but you don't have to turn. Bring your arms up over your head. My knees are now closer. Right arm down to the floor and lean up and over to the right side. Using the right hand to kind of adjust my spine, open up and twist a little bit more. Relax the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Sweep that left arm to the right. Sweep it all the way around to the left side. Right arm follows it. Come back up. Now you're on your left side. Right hip down towards your heel. Breathe in, push down through your left hand, open up and rotate that spine. Exhale, right arm comes down, sweeps across to the right side. Left arm comes up and open. A little bit more rotation if you have it. Exhale, left arm comes down, sweep it around. Right arm comes back up, open a little bit more of that rotation. And then bring your arms down by your side, on either side. Come up to fingertips, lift your chest up. Rise up on your shins on an inhale. Maybe you tuck your toes underneath you. Interlace your fingers, shoulders away from your ears. Lift out of your waistline and up and over to the right side, pulling left arm with right. So think about that crescent. You're up and over an imaginary ball to your right side without collapsing. Inhale, rise back up to center and exhale up and over to the left side, pulling that right arm with the left. Breathe in and breathe out. Rise back up to center. Release your arms. Forward fold on your knees. Circle the arms around and up. Open up. See if you can do that same thing, switching the arm, cross, up and open. And then take your arms back up and let's do one more standing or kneeling side bend here. Lift up and over to the right side. Out of your waistline, pull the left arm with the right. Go a little bit deeper on the second set. Inhale back to center. Exhale up and over to the other side, pulling left arm, right arm, excuse me, with left. Lifting out of your torso. Inhale, rise up. Open the arms and sweep the floor. Once again, hands to the floor, circling the arms. Exhale, switch the cross of your arms. Inhale all the way up, lift your chest. Arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, knuckles towards your heels, lift your chest up, doing the same bend now in the back rather than the side. Push your hips forward, maybe your head drops back. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold to the floor, hands underneath the shoulders. Step, step to a high plank. Shoulders over elbow, over wrist, knees pull up, belly lifts up and in. Downward dog as your hips come up in the air. Separate your feet a little bit wider than hips and shift your weight from side to side. Pressing through right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. And any variations that you have here, breathe. Inhale and exhale. 
exhale, high up on your tippy toes. Right knee bends, left heel presses. Keep the even distribution of weight into both hands. High up on your toes, left knee bends, right heel presses. Come high up on your toes. Bend both knees, chest towards thighs, hips up in the air, press the heel of the hands down. Exhale, press chest to thighs. Now look forward, bring the knees to hovering over the mat. Hold there, round your spine, arch your back, release your knees, child's pose, sit back one breath. Inhale, rise the hands and knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog once again. This time, step your feet a little bit closer to your hands, bend your right knee, and take your right hand to your outside of your left ankle and look under your left arm. So use the weight of that left arm pressing into the floor, that right hip moves or is, is bent, you might move your hips to the left side. And then let's switch. Right hand down, left hand grabs right ankle, twist, breathe, inhale, and exhale, two hands on the floor. Step back again, if you came forward, bend the knees, turbo, dog, chest to thighs, head towards the floor. Now just scoop down into a turbo tabletop. Breathe in, breathe out. Lower your knees to the floor, child's pose. Rise up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Now step your left foot to your hands. It doesn't have to be very far. And I'm gonna turn myself to face the right side of my mat. So we're all in a wide-legged forward fold facing the right side of your mat, or you can have it on the left side if you need to. Climb to your fingertips, depending on space, and bring your hands to your thighs first so that you're, you can get your back parallel to the floor. Crown of the head reaches forward as the tailbone reaches back. Press your right shoulder down, just twisting into that side. And then switch, left shoulder down, Rotate, and then come back to center, pressing to the tops of the thighs, round your back and just scoot that belly into your spine, and then roll up to standing, shoulders roll back and around a couple times. Turn your toes out to the sides, tuck your tailbone underneath you, bring your arms out, bend your knees, bend your elbows into a little star, goddess pose, straighten the arms and legs. Take that goddess pose again, pull the elbows down, shoulder blades squeeze together. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bend elbows, bend knees. Turn your toes forward, sweep your arms down like we did before on our knees, come all the way back up. This time we're gonna reverse it, left arm comes, or opposite arm comes in front because I didn't really tell you which arm. Open back to your star, bend your knees. Rise up, forward fold, turn the toes. Take the arms in the opposite direction and do that one more time. I actually turned it again. And then come back to your goddess. Lift your right heel off the floor. Lower it, lift your left heel off the floor. Lower it, try for both heels off the floor. Drop your seat lower. Just make sure you keep that nice alignment, shoulders over hips, tailbone tucks. And then heels drop down, arms come up. Hands come into prayer. Turn your left toes so they're perfectly forward. Turn your right toes to the right side. Now you can see this, my left hip kind of hikes up. So I want to adjust that a little bit more. My right toes are turning to my right, arms are coming out, warrior two facing the right side of my mat. Or to my right side, I should say. And then pull back with your left arm, pull forward with your right arm. Take the weight out of your right leg for a moment and then re-bend it. Pushing both outer edges of the feet into the floor, spiraling outer hip or hips outwardly while the inner thighs squeeze inward. One more breath. Inhale, rise up and straighten the front leg. Turn your right toes in, turn your left toes to the left. Warrior two again, look at your left arm. Come out of your front leg for a moment and then re-bend it reaching in two directions. So again, 
Outer thighs rotate outward, inner thighs squeeze towards midline. Arms reach in two directions, nice and long. Breathe in. Oh, my nose itches. <laughs> Breathe out. Inhale, rise up, stand to the center. Turn your toes towards the front or slightly pigeoned as you fold. Inhale, hang your head to the floor. Climb up to your fingertips, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold down. Try to reach the crown of the head towards the floor. Maybe you have to bend your knees. Maybe you have to shorten your stance or widen your stance. Don't go too wide. And then climb back to your fingertips. This time you can bring your hands to your heart center if that feels okay for your back. And then rise up. Bring your arms all the way up overhead. Turn your left toes forward. Turn your right toes towards the front of the room. Find warrior one on your left leg. So your left leg is in front. Your right toes turn forward. Shoulders drop down, rib cage towards hips. Breathe in. Open up, pressing that right pinky toe to the floor. Take the right arm, sweep it down and around. Turn the right foot, warrior two, facing the left side of your mat. Breathe in, straighten the leg. Return, flip your palms, reach forward. Take your left arm on your left thigh. No weight in that left arm. So lift up the arm and notice if your torso moves. If it does, you're probably carrying your weight into that arm. So let the torso and the thighs carry the weight. Right arm up over your shoulder. Spiraling outer thighs outward, inner thighs inward. Breathe in, breathe out. See if you can lift that left hand off your body without collapsing. Rise up, warrior two, as you exhale, straighten legs. Turn the left toes forward, turn the right toes to the right and turn the left toes to the right as well. Sweep your left arm around, find warrior one with your right leg bent. Hands don't have to touch, they can stay open. Tucking the tailbone underneath you, right knee is bent. About 90 degrees of a bend here. Big breath. Inhale. And exhale, take your left arm, sweep it around. Find warrior two, slight adjustment in that back leg. Look at the right hand. Breathe in. Flip your palms, reach forward, right arm rests on the left, the right thigh, left arm is up. So if I move my hand, there's no movement in my torso. If my arm is on the thigh and putting my weight into it, as soon as I lift it, I kind of collapse. So stay here with strength. Maybe lift that bottom arm up and kind of notice where we're at. One more breath. Inhale, rise up, turn your right toes forward. Hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, knuckles down, chest up, and lean forward, hang your head. Let it go, stay there, breathe, inhale, and exhale. Good, I just wanna make sure we're still getting the video up. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Bring the arms to the floor underneath your shoulders, lengthen your spine. We're gonna turn back to face the left side of the mat, you're in a low lunge. Plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Lower down halfway chaturanga. Upward dog, remember you can modify if you need to onto your knees or any other variations. Downward dog is where we meet again. Breathing in. And breathing out. Rising high up on your toes. Bend your knees, turbo dog. Good, hovering tabletop. Now extend the legs back to that high plank, resist the earth. Lower halfway, up and downward facing dogs. Hips up in the air. Breathe. Take your left leg and bring it in the air. Step it in between your hands. Turn your right toes on their side. Rise up, warrior one, right here, inhale, beautiful. Warrior two, exhale. Side angle, right arm up, left arm down. Now reverse your warrior, right arm down, left arm up. Pull your right hip towards your left knee. Lift out of your torso, no collapsing here either. Inhale, back to side angle, left arm down, right arm up. Stay here or take your right arm over your head, or perhaps a half or a full bind. Make sure that you don't compromise your form to get the full bind. If you need to, just relax that bottom arm. Open up your 
chest and shoulders. Left side parallel to the floor. Big breath in, big breath out. And take one more of those. Gently, if you have a bind, release it. Right arm comes back upward, back in warrior two as you exhale, straighten your left leg and turn your both feet towards that right side of your mat, hands on your hips. So just put your hands on your hips so you notice the levelness of your hips. Turn your right toes to the right, left toes follow. Warrior one, arms come all the way up, inhale, ribs touch down, hips open. Inhale, warrior two as you exhale. Flip your palms, reach forward, side angle. Release left arm back behind you. Reverse warrior. Pull your right knee forward. Pull your left hip towards your right knee. And lift up and over as if there were a ball underneath the left side of your body. One more breath. Inhale, return to side angle. Left arm up so you can stay right here. Or take your left arm bicep over your ear. Open up your heart. Or maybe you take a half or a full bind. If you're full binding but you can't get that left shoulder open, then release the full bind just to a half bind. Release that bottom arm. Open up your chest. Keep an eye on your feet. Are they strong and stable? Are they carrying all your weight or are you kind of crowding in on them? Are you collapsing into your feet? One more breath. If you're bound, release your bind. Return to warrior two as you exhale. Straighten arms and legs, turn to face your mat the long way. Bring your hands on your hips. Lift out of your torso. Take your, arm, your toes and turn them outward. Bend your knees, goddess pose. But let's bring our hands in prayer and drop your seat a little bit lower. And then take your torso parallel to the floor. Take your left arm inside your left thigh, right arm opens, left arm go down to the floor. Lift out of your waistline. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, inhale, hands to prayer. Take it over to your right side. Right arm comes down, left arm comes up. If you have blocks and need them, use them. I can tell on this side I need a little bit more assistance. I'm not quite as flexy on this side. One more breath. Don't let that left knee collapse in. Keep pushing that knee open. One more breath. Come back to center. Now elbows and side thighs, hands to the floor, and then just straighten up your legs, turn your toes forward, let your head hang down. Shift your hips from side to side. Inhale, and exhale. Climb to your fingertips. Don't worry if you're not facing the camera when this happens. Turn over to your right side and step to a high plank. You don't need to see me, or you don't need to be in the camera, as long as you can hear me. Lower down, halfway chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, downward dog, hips up in the air, chest towards your thighs. Bend your knees, turbo dog. Keep the turbo action, come hovering over into your tabletop. Straighten legs and vinyasa, hips up, downward dog. Press your chest towards your thighs. Bring your feet together. Take your right leg in the air, bend your left knee. Step that right leg all the way through. Left foot turns, warrior one, inhale. Open up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, side angle. Stay here for a couple breaths so that if you take a half, or full bind, you can get yourself in there and stay for three breaths, opening up your chest. Straighten the front leg if you have that bind, or even if you don't. One more breath. If you have a bind, slowly release it. Right arm on the right shin, thigh, foot, or floor. Stacking shoulders and hips into triangle pose. Pull your knees up. Look down at your toes. Breathe in, breathe out. No collapsing in that right side. One more breath. Inhale, reverse your triangle, right arm up. Exhale, stand up. Right toes turn in. Left toes turn around, right goes with it. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Side angle, right arm up, no work. Holding on 
down here. Reverse it as you exhale. Come back to your side angle. Good stay. Half or full bind. Lift your chest open. Maybe you gaze up towards the right side. Maybe you're still looking down. One more breath. Good. Now straighten that front leg. Release your grip. Triangle pose. Right arm up. Left arm down. Imagine that you're against a wall. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. And as you release it, reverse your triangle. We're going to send it back to the left side of the room. Windmill down. Or on the left side of the mat. Step back in vinyasa. Upward and downward facing dogs. Hips up in the air. Breathe. Feet come together, left leg in the air, left leg steps through, right foot turns, warrior one, arms come up, warrior two, open out, side angle, breathe, reverse your warrior, side angle with your bind, or just re re a nice long release for three breaths, two, start to straighten that front leg, one, release Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Now, bring your hands to your hips and turn yourself towards your left side. Step your back foot in a little bit closer. Square up your shoulders and hips. Come halfway down with your torso. If you need a block, I have one on the side, I don't need to go too far. Then take a block inside or outside of that foot. Left hand on your sacrum, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist to your left side, stack your shoulders, and breathe. Gaze, maybe goes up, maybe the arm, left arm goes up as you exhale. Find some length in your spine, one more breath. Now empty the breath, hands to floor shins or blocks. Send your weight to your left leg and kick your right leg up in the air. And then we're going to step it back into that low lunge and turn to face the center of the room to the right side, hang your head, center of your mat, big wide step. Prasarita Padottanasana, hands to the floor. Walk over to your right side, turn your toes, warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Side angle, inhale. Reverse your warrior, exhale. Side angle with a bind or not. Take it where you need to take it. Say for three breaths, it's three. Two, begin to straighten your front leg. One, release your bind if you're bound. Triangle pose, lifting out of your side body. Breathe in and out. And then reverse your triangle, bring your arm up. And then come back, bring your hands to your hips, step your back foot, I'm gonna take my block with me if I need it, and step your back foot in a little bit closer, square up your hips and shoulders. Left hand is gonna come on the block, inside or outside, right hand comes to your sacrum. Lengthen your spine, rotate to your right side, squeeze and hug your hips towards midline. And then maybe that shoulder stacks and the right arm comes up. Try to find as much length in your spine as you can before you make this twist. Breathe in and out. Take an extra breath. As you exhale, let's just fold over the right leg. Hang your head. Rebend your right knee and step back into your low lunge. Step back into your high plank. Vinyasa, up and down dogs. Hips go in the air. Breathe. Settle in if you need more time. Go to your knees. Bring the feet together. Right leg in the air. Last time, we're gonna step it through. Turn your left foot on its side, warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Good, side angle, inhale. Reverse your warrior, exhale. Side angle with that hold. Breathe in, breathe out for three. For 
two, for one, straighten that front leg, release the bind in your triangle, for three, for two, for one, release your hand to the floor, step your back foot closer, take your block again if you need it, right hand to your sacrum, lengthen your spine, and twist one more time to the right, right arm comes up, breathe in, breathe out for three, hug those hips to midline two, and one, fold over your right leg, kick your left leg in the air, step it back to that low lunge, and we're going to turn through center, over to your left side, right toes turn in, warrior one, arms come up, warrior two, open out, side angle pose, exhale, reverse your warrior, side angle with the hold and perhaps the bind, for three, for two, straighten the leg for one, unbind if you're bound, triangle pose for three, same thing, lifting, finding those movements, finding those triangles in your body, look at your whole body, one more, good, reverse your triangle, now we're going to windmill down, hands come down, right foot steps closer, maybe you use a block on the inside or outside of your left foot, left hand to your sacrum, crown of the head reaches forward, and twist to the left side, stack your shoulders, open up, breathe, one more, as you exhale, fold down, you can rise up and step back, or just step back into your low lunge, and find your high plank, breathe in, find your low plank, upward, and downward facing dogs, breathe, inhale, and exhale, one more breath, now let's bring the knees to the mat, sit back on your heels, open the knees wide and let your chest rest in between your thighs, and bring your arms by your side with your palms facing up. Drape your shoulders open, send your hips back, shimmy your hips from side to side and feel whatever it is that you've got going on there. Keep breathing. Just checking that we're still timing good. Good, good, all right. Rise back to sit up on your heels. Lift your chest up proud. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe. Find length in the crown of the head, nice and tall. Tuck that tailbone underneath you. Settle in. Let the breath slow down. Let your thoughts slow down. And then come back to your hands and knees as you open your eyes. Tuck your toes, find a downward facing dog. Walk your feet to the middle of your mat, walk your hands to the back of, the, or to your feet actually. Climb to your fingertips. Empty your breath, lift your toes up, slide your hands all the way underneath so you can wrap your big toes around your wrist. Look forward, inhale. And work at straightening your legs. You'll notice that mine are not straight. Sending the weight into the balls of your feet, releasing some of that tension in your wrists. I like to kind of sway side to side, see if that feels good for you. Push and pull at the same time. And then halfway lift with your chest up, your head looking forward. Pull against your feet, push against your hands, and release your hands from your feet. Roll out the wrists. And then just ragdoll the stand all the way up, roll those shoulders back. Good, I'm gonna to turn to face you again, but you stay exactly as you are if you can. Separate your feet about a little bit less than hips width apart, and then bring your weight to your left leg without collapsing into it. So my arms are gonna be by my side, I'm just gonna lift my right leg up, flex the foot, and then bring the knee in line with the hip or the belly button a little bit higher, and then float that leg behind you, dip your belly, arch your back, broaden your collarbones, reach your arms, heart lifts. Breathe in, bring your hands to your prayer, bring your knee to your chest. Open up your right hip, flex your foot, grab a hold of that foot and place it above or below the knee. 
wherever you are. Now really firm down into that left leg. Good. Rikshasana, tree pose. Open up your tree branches, touch your first two fingers together. Look out of your waistline. Good, trees fall down sometimes. They sway. Release your arms down by your side, release your leg, balance and fly again. Breathe, pushing down evenly into that left leg, nice and strong. Good, one more breath, gang. And then bring your right leg back to your chest, standing up tall. Hug the knee into your chest, and then release the foot to the floor. Shake it out. Good. Just do whatever feels good here. Separate your feet about hips width, maybe just shy of it. Send your weight to your right leg without collapsing into it, and lift that left leg up. Knee in line with the hip, in line with the belly button, flex the foot, breathe. And then slowly start to kick that leg behind you, dip your belly, arch your back. Let your heart drop. Well, actually, let your heart lift and your belly drop. One more. And then bring your hands to prayer, knee to chest, flex the foot. Open out to the left side, take a hold of the foot, place it above or below the knee. Hands in prayer, nice, strong, pressing evenly, inner thigh foot, foot inner thigh, and right foot firmly into the earth. Maybe you take your Gyan Mudra, breathe. And then drop the arms, release the leg one more time, flying. Or no, did we fly again? If we flew, I do believe we flew again, yeah. And then come into, ooh, that very windy fly. Breathe. And then we bring that left knee in. Look at my tree wobbling all over the place, my flight all over. And then release it. Shake it. Turn back to face, I'm going to turn back to face the front, you should be, or if you're not, just turn to face the front of your mat. Bring your arms over your head. Forward fold over your legs and just kind of ragdoll it there and just see where you need to be. How wide do you need your feet? Think this way, what you got going on there. And then plant your hands in front of you. Step your feet back, downward dog, hips up in the air, chest to the thighs. Take a vinyasa just to clear your slate. Upward dog or child or, or cobra. Downward dog or child pose. Right knee to the mat, underneath your hip. Scoot that right foot off to the side. Bring the right knee or the left knee behind it. And we're gonna sit back either onto a block or onto your heels, onto your floor, not onto your heels. Give yourself that little foot massage. Ideally, the knees are stacked. Ideally, the heels are in line with each other. Mine are not. Breathe. Can you just try to keep the hips square? In other words, don't put more weight into that left leg and lift that right hip up. Good. Take your arms over your head on an inhale. We're going to take a spinal twist on an exhale. Left hand outside, right thigh, right arm behind you. Lift and lengthen. And then rotate, look over your right shoulder, drop that left shoulder down. Keep working that right hip down so you feel a little bit of that nice, good tension in that right hip. Press the left arm down and away from your ear. Return to center, look over your left shoulder. Release and rewind or unwind. Come back to center. Bring your hands to the floor underneath your shoulders. Move your block if you had one. And then just a little fancy nothing or other. We're gonna just switch, we're gonna bring that left leg down and across. So we didn't come up, we didn't do anything, have the seat back on the floor or the block. I like the block in this pose, even so sometimes I don't feel that I need it, I just, I like the height of it. Breathe in, breathe out. Stacking knees, heels in line, hips are level. Rise the arms up, inhale. Right arm outside, left thigh, left hand behind you, tenting, lifting your spine, twisting to the left side. Inhale, and exhale. Take a look to your right side. Unbind, unwind. 
back to center. Come back to your knees. Now this time just undo both legs. Stretch them out, shake them out behind you. And then push back to your heels, child's pose one more time here. Reach your arms forward, spread your knees wide so your belly drops in between your thighs. Good, and now inhale, round your spine. Exhale, neutral. Step, step, high plank. Push the earth away. Shift your shoulders a little forward of your elbows or wrists. And then low all the way to the floor. Hands are by your side. Cobra pose. Take a breath in. Push through the pubic bone and lift the arms up. Bring the arms back to your side. And then stretch your arms in front of you. Biceps by the ears, thumbs up. Lift your legs up. Lift your heart up, Shalambasana. Any variations that you take here are welcome in three, two, release. Hands down, head rests on your hands, turn your toes in and shimmy your hips from side to side. Inhale and exhale. Good, bring your arms back by your chest. Once again, lifting the arms off the floor, pull the elbows and shoulders together. This time I want you to take your arms by your side, turning your palms down, pressing down through the arms on the floor. Keep your torso lifted, lift your legs up, pushing down to get a little leverage, floating on that triangle between your lower hips and your pelvic or your pubic bone. One more breath. Empty the breath. Push back to child's pose. Sit back on your heels. Cup your heels with your hands. Bring your chin to your chest. Forehead to your knees. Crown of the head to the floor. Take a breath. And as you exhale, find your rabbit pose. Crown of the head touches the knees. Well, actually, the forehead touches the knees. Crown of the head on the floor. But there's very little weight, if any, in that head. Pull the heels with your hands. Pull the hand, push the hands with your heels. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel that, that gentle push-pull dynamic. And then lower your hips to your heels. Rise all the way back up. Take your time. Good. Maybe just do a little bit of a release here as well. And then come back up and shake your legs out to either side. Walking yourself down the front edge of your mat a little bit closer, so about a third of the way down your mat, so that when you come down to the floor, excuse me, I'm so thirsty, that your head is on your mat. And let's just take our feet to the short edge of the mat, right, not too wide, and sit up nice and tall and take it. If you have a block, take it out in front of you for a moment, just so you have the length of the arms to the block. And if you don't have a block, just reach your arms as far as you can no collapsing here. Lift out and pull your toes up to your face. Pull your knees up to your hips. Push your thighs down. Pull your toes up, heels away. Reach out. This is a really strong pose. Now let's just throw a little Pilates in today. Arms out to the side, thumbs up. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to twist to the right and reach to the left, uh, left fingers to the right toes. Inhale, rise up. Arms out to the side. Exhale, twist to the left. Saw to the right of the left foot. Inhale, rise up, hands centered. Exhale, right side. Saw to the left. Inhale, up, open out. Exhale to the left side, saw. Inhale, up, open out. And let the arms float down by your side. Keep the legs nice and active. Lift up onto your fingertips and pull yourself in front of your sitting bones. Creep your chest forward. Take your fingers, walk them to your big toes. If you can grab them, grab them. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. And then as you bend the knees and you keep reaching forward with your chest, maybe you start to lengthen those legs. Breathe in and out. If not, maybe shorten your legs or bring them closer rather than further. One 
one more breath, rolling fingers and toes apart. And then rise up slowly without any boomeranging. Good. Bring your hands to your chest, crossing over one arm and in front of the other. Doesn't really matter which one. Bring your chin to your chest and your belly to your spine. Ooh, I dream a genius. And then with that same control, start to roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top of your shoulder blades, bring your hands now behind your head, bring the elbows by your ears, and look down to your toes as you lengthen your spine on the mat. One more breath. Release your hands here, and then lower your head to the floor. Hug your knees to your chest. Keep them as wide as your mat was, so a little bit wider than your hips, a lot wider than your hips, I promise you. And then take your feet to the ceiling, happy baby pose. Grab your hold of the big toes or the outer um, grip of your outer edge of your foot, or some of you might want to go under your thighs or your calves. And pull your tailbone to the floor, feet to the ceiling, knees outside the ribcage, and rock and roll side to side. That's simple. And when you're ready, just come back to center. Settle in for one more breath. And then gently release your hand grip. Bring your knees to your chest, knees and feet together. Round and curl your spine, rounding like a ball. Good. Stretch your legs up in the air. Flex your feet. Reach your hands to your feet, head and shoulders lift. Breathe in and breathe out for three, for two, for one. Head down, legs stay up. Separate your legs about hips width apart and relax your feet for a moment. Even relax your knees. It doesn't matter if your knees are straight or not. Belly to spine, ribs to hips. Just let your shoulders drape open. Let your feet be relaxed. Just let go. Breathe in. And empty out. You might feel a little tingling going on in your feet or your legs, your calves, your shins. That's okay. If it feels really uncomfortable, you put your feet down and maybe you start again. And then bending your knees, take your hands down the front of your shins to the front of your ankles and the tops of your feet and place your feet onto the floor. So as I do that, my back arches pretty naturally, pretty high. So I'm gonna just tilt my pelvis so that my back imprints without letting my knees knock in or out. I'm keeping them heels in line with my, um, my sitting bones. And now I wanna tilt my pelvis so my, my spine is imprinted on the floor. And all I'm going to lift off of the floor is my buttocks. Not my back, just my glutes, my butt. And as I release that, I'm going to release the tailbone down. And I'm going to go back to that arch, just so we know the difference of the extremes. And then from that arch, I'm going to tilt my pelvis, point my pubic bone up, lift just the buttocks off the floor, just so you've really got to Contract your abdominals in, ribs towards your hips, like shorten that distance between your ribs and your hips. Hold on to that as you start to peel your spine off the floor, pointing your knees forward. Don't turn your head. My head is turning just so I can kind of look at you guys and also you can hear me better in the microphones. Now without boomeranging, let go of your feet, but bring the arms over your head into a, like a moving open bridge. Can you lift your glutes a little higher without causing stress to your back or your breath? And as you exhale, upper, mid, lower back come down to the floor, arms come by your side. Windshield wiping your legs from side to side. And then come back to the center, reach your fingers towards your heels. They don't have to touch now, but it, feel free to take them. Tilt your pelvis, pubic bone up. Feel your spine off the floor. Roll your shoulders underneath you. One, two is to maybe take those arms back over your head. And three, maybe you take your hands by your shoulders, come lightly to the top of your head as you push yourself up into your big, beautiful Shakrasana. Stay there for three to five breaths wherever you are right now. Slow down the breath. Take your time. 
embrace the pose. One of our big, beautiful heart openings. And when you're ready to come down, top of the head, upper, mid, lower, back to the floor. And the knees come into your chest. Nice and easy. Open your arms to a T. Shift your hips to the left and let your knees fall to the right side. Look to your left. Relax your left shoulder to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Using your core, bring your legs back through center. Shift your hips right, let your knees fall to the left as you move to the right. Relax your shoulders so they stay on the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Squeezing your knees together. Lay on your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Top of the, uh, hands grab the top of the foot shin. Wherever you can, round and curl your spine one more time. Good. And lay back on the floor. Bring your right knee to your chest, left leg out on the floor. Flex your feet, bringing the knees outside the rib cage, or the right knee outside the right rib cage. Left foot towards the edge of your mat and further. So we just create a little bit of length there. And one more, a little hamstring stretch as you extend the leg up in the air. Flex and point through the right ankle. Move in both directions. Keeping your knees straight, so I think mine is not too straight here probably. I need a little bit more room away from my hip. Hands under the thigh, calves, feet. Lift your head and shoulders up. Maybe lift your left leg up and then point both feet. And then release both arms for three, for two, for one. Right knee to the chest. Left knee joins it. And then release the right foot to the floor, flex both feet, left knee on the outside of the rib cage. Pull in and push away with your right foot all at the same time. Breathe in and breathe out. Another breath. And then straighten your left leg, holding on to the leg so that the leg is straight. Flex your feet. Maybe lift your head and shoulders up. Lift the right leg up and point the toes and release the arms for three, two, and one. Knee into the chest, head down. Both knees into the chest, head down. Round and curl your spine, make a tiny little ball. And then lay your head down, stretch your legs out. Stretch your arms back over your head. Reach right side long. Reach left side long. Reach both sides long. Take a big breath in. And as you empty the breath, bring the arms back by your side. Relax your palms open. Relax your feet open. Soften the back side of your body. So let those glutes go. Let your abdomen go. Let your hips go. Let your thoughts go. Release your ujjayi breath. And just return to your natural breath, your natural pattern of breath, as you start to slow it down. Slowing down the mind as well as the physical body. So it's very natural that thoughts will come in and out of your head, just don't carry those conversations on. And start to empty, let go and settle. anything spoil these few moments for you because anything that's important will be waiting for you when you're done I promise so take every golden opportunity here to let go
As always, I invite you to stay longer in your Shavasana if you have the opportunity to do that. If not, begin to make small movements through your body, engage your breath a little bit deeper perhaps. Make your way onto either side, create a pillow for your head to rest in. And on your own time, make your way to a comfortable seat with your hands together in prayer, touching the thumbs to your heart and just bowing gracefully and gratefully to yourself, you being the teacher, honoring the teacher in all of us. Om Shanti, 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 Om Peace, Peace, Peace to all. And now we all bow to the light the peace, the goodness within each and every one of us. Namaste, Satnam, go in peace. And for my video friends, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.